double double cheeseburger. Not so good. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It's just me out here this time, doing a solo camp in my little Nemo Hornet Elite Osmo 1P tent. I've also got a um, big green sleeping bag because there was a little bit of snow on the top last night, so gotta make sure I don't freeze. But I'm in this like beautiful little patch of bush. Sun's just coming down at the moment, it's quite nice. You can hear the stream trickling in the background. But yeah, I'll just chill out here, have a little fire, have a few beers, cook some burgers and have some scrambled eggs and bacon in the morning. But it's got a real nice feel here, real nice little ambient spot. So, a bit of crack on with all my chores. Got to get a fire pit going, got to get rocks, got to get my beers chilling and then get all prepared to cook dinner. So, I'll come back after I get some of these jobs done, but nice to be out on another trip. Some nice big rocks down on the river be able to make a real good fire pit. more wood. Ugh. Gathered up heaps of wood now. Should be enough to have my fire going late into the night. There's heaps of standing dead trees around here, which is real good. Sometimes when you're out in the bush, there's not that many. But I'll build a little pyre and get this fire going now. 
and then I'll baton some of the bigger logs up and then I'll get ready to sit down for the evening I think. I quite like the spot. Come back here and do a big old rain camp. Good wood, really good wood. Wow, that was a pretty epic wood gathering mission. Um, I only really took three massive standing dead trees and I got all this wood. But it's all been batoned up now. It's all fully processed. We have a nice little fire going. The temperature's dropping pretty quick. So it's quite nice to have the fire. And you can tell there's not much smoke, it's burning pretty good. This wood's really nice and dry. But what I'll do is, um, I think I'll go down to the stream soon, get a beer, and then probably get dinner on, I think. The stream is just like, it's only like a few 50 meters away from the tent site. This fire is so nice. I, actually, I brought my temperature probe, so I'll be able to get that out soon and I'll tell you what the temperature is. But it's actually pretty chilly. And I'm going to be drinking cold beer. I'm not sure if that's a good combination, but we'll do what we've got to do. Anyway, this is what I've got. It's called Afterglow Hazy IPA. And it's one best in class trophy. The Brewers Guild. It should be good. But I'll show you this. This is the beer. You can see it's got a little gold medal award. It's real cold though, it's been in the stream. Cheers everybody. Yeah, that's good. It's quite a lot better drinking out of a cup than it is straight from the can. What finesse for the bush. That is a good beer. This fire is so nice. I've also got some uh, salt and vinegar chips, which I can have. These are the chips that I bought. The big cut hand cooked crisps. Dill, pickle, and apple cider vinegar. Again, these are the, um, the locally made ones where I live. Big cut, dill and pickle, sounds nice. We'll see, is the potato, oh man, they are big cut. Look, I opened the bag and they're all massive chips, all big ones like this. Once again, we've achieved great success. This is an awesome spot. It'd be great in the rain too, you could easily get tarp up in any of these trees. And there's heaps of standing wood, so it wouldn't be too hard to get a fire going. It's pretty good. It's got to be careful not to melt my boots. Look at that. That's a giant chip. Look at the quality of this fire. I wish I could have fires like this right in the middle of winter. They would be the best. That's when you actually need them. I would say in this location it would probably get down to negative 10 degrees in the middle of winter. It could get colder. I think it's about 900 meters elevation gain here. So it's not out of the tree line, but it's still quite high up. So you'd get big snow dumps up all through this beach forest. But look at this. 
there's no wind either really so it's just roaring i did get a bit nervous because i woke up this morning at home and it was really cold so i decided to pack my big mac pack green sleeping bag which is 700 grams of 700 full power down quite a lot of down it's got a comfort rating for negative six degrees celsius but i don't know i should be okay tonight this tent doesn't hold too much heat either than nemo so but i'd rather be safe than sorry Just been down to the stream, got my other beer. Look at this fire go. Guess what I've got? It's the Renaissance Brewing Co again. These things are thoroughly delicious. So I'll put that into my special cup and enjoy. I'll probably have to put my um, puffer jacket on soon just because the temperature is dropping fast. Oh, that's delightful. I'll get my probe out. I've got this um, temperature probe. I'll get a better one. At the moment, it's 10 degrees. But I reckon it's colder than that. I'll set it over here. And I'll see how it goes, but... I don't know, it's pretty chilly. I just wanted to say, thank you for everyone who gives the videos thumbs up and subscribes to the channels. Well, the channel. If you enjoy watching, um, yeah, give it a thumbs up. It's pretty cool that, I don't know, I'm making these videos and people are watching them. I never would have really thought that this many people would watch. I know it's not a big channel or anything, but still, Almost have 2,000 subscribers now, and yeah, thousands of people watch the videos, so thank you everyone who watches, and special thanks to everyone who puts in the time to give a thumbs up on the videos. It helps me out, helps get the videos out, helps motivate me. It's pretty cool, like, knowing people are watching. These trips, they take a lot of effort, like, coming out here and doing all this, and yeah, I just hope people enjoy it, and thank you for the people that show appreciation back. hit the thumbs up and subscribe <laughs> you don't have to but it would be nice look at these chips I can barely fit them in my mouth they're absolutely ginormous every single chip is a big chip they're so nice you can taste like the the little dill pickle flavor in them. here's my bacon for the morning never cooked bacon on a camp before I put about 100 grams into a ziplock and I'm going to cook that up tomorrow scrambled eggs in the new frying pan I'll give you a close up look at it this is what it looks like it's called the the GSI pinnacle fry pan hard anodized nice little handle that conveniently just folds over Pretty standard, 350 grams or so. And yeah, I got this nice little um, Cedar Summit spatula to go with it. So I'll be able to do nice scrambled eggs on this. And I wanna cook up my patties in it. I mean, cooking over the fire is better, but this time we're gonna test out the new frying pan and it should be quite cool. And I've got, where are they? These nice big Angus beef patties with some gouda cheese so it's going to be an, an epic feast again on this trip Look at the size of this chip. Burger time. But first, 
I'll just make sure this fire is going all right. It's putting out some serious heat. I know inside the computer or phone or whatever you're watching on, you can't feel it, but I'm getting some serious heat wafting towards me. I'll just check my temperature probe. We're at seven degrees. So it's a bit chilly, but it's not too cold. Oh, I thought it would have been a little bit colder by now, but I guess not. I've um, strung up with a um, piece of cord my light. I don't know if you can see it, I'll pull it down into the shot. But I got my light up here between the two trees so you can see, see myself a bit better. But what I'm gonna do is now get probably two burgers on and cook those first and eat them, I suppose. But we'll get this little pocket rocket going. And I'll get a little bit of this butter in there. Won't need much. The burgers themselves are probably quite fatty. Might turn up my light just a little bit. So this is the first cook with the new GSI pan, which is quite exciting really. I always like testing out new pieces of kit. So we'll get two of these patties in. But you can hear a great sizzle already. The non-stick capabilities of this pan, it's incredible. Nothing sticking to it at all, and it sits real nicely on top of the pocket rocket. I was a little bit concerned when I purchased it that the, the three little tripod legs from the pocket rocket stove wouldn't be enough to support the weight of the pot, or the, the frying pan, especially with the, the counterweighted of the handle. But it seems to be working real good. I'm going to chuck some of this cheese on top of each patty now and then I'll, I'll get a bun on top of there too, get them starting to steam down. But it smells pretty incredible. The fire's putting out some massive amount of heat. But these burgers are looking great. There's like a wafting scent all through the, all through the forest. It's quite convenient just to cook on gas. Like cooking over the fire is real nice and it tastes real good and it's real fun. It looks cool too for video. But it's pretty just, it's convenient when you can just cook straight over a little gas stove like this. I think these burgers are probably done. What I'm gonna have to do is I'll take out the bottom bun, put it in my bowl, and I'll get some of this uh, Waddy's tomato sauce and I'll smear that over the patty. And then I'll get the next one, place that on top. The cheese is like fully melted all over this brioche bun and put the lid on. Well, that's like the ultimate cheeseburger. Another double. These patties are a bit thinner. They're a bit thinner than the other ones that I've, um, that I had in my other video. It's kind of hard to see, but Look at that steaming cheeseburger. That's so tender. Mm. The cheese is like caramelized all over the patty. The patty's nice and charred. Oh man, the brioche bun. Look at that. Steaming beef burger on the brioche bun. There's something about like eating food when you're out here in the bush. In front of your fire, you hear the birds like singing. The little creek trickling. Everything just tastes so much better. Oh man. The pan works so well. I mean, it was so easy to cook these burgers just on there. I mean, it's pretty easy to cook over the fire too, but it's a little skillet. It works really well. Temperature's still seven degrees, but I'm roasting. This fire's putting out so much heat. Burgers are delicious. I'll come back 
when I cook the second one. I still got a whole other double cheeseburger to have after this. been an excellent fire. This might be one of the best fires that I've ever had. I'll save these two buns for my bacon and egg sandwiches in the morning and I'll have one more patty, well one more double cheeseburger tonight. But these are cooking up real nice. I'll check the temperature, six and a half degrees. So it's not exactly warm but the fire's putting out so much heat I had to take my down jacket off. But I'm going to have these two burgers and then I've got a jar of dark hot chocolate. And this is the base of the burger. Get that one there. And get a good helping of the Swatties tomato sauce. And we'll chuck on the top. A nice dolloping of sauce on that one. This is the ultimate double double cheeseburger out in the bush. Absolutely excellent. These brioche buns, they're so nice. I love brioche. These burgers are exquisite. I'm gonna continue eating this and I'll come back to you for hot chocolate time. It's about nine o'clock and I'm feeling pretty tired to be honest. I haven't really walked a huge distance to get into this campsite. It's only about an hour and a bit of a bush bash, but still feel pretty tired carrying all that weight in here and just gathering up all the wood. Always takes a bit of energy. Mm, jar of mint. It's like an after dinner mint. Something about that mintiness just cleanses the palate of all that fatty beefiness. I think it's time to get into bed. The fire's still cranking. It'll be going for probably hours. So I might sit out for a little bit longer, but yeah, I might pack down all my stuff, lie down on my mat, just relax in the sleeping bag for a bit. Hope you've enjoyed the chilled out vibe of the video. and I'll give you a little tour of the tent and my new little pieces of gear. Well, they're not new, but I haven't used them in quite a long time. So I'll just talk you through them when I get into the, into the big bag. But other than that, I don't really have a whole lot else to say tonight. Really like this spot though. It's a bit of a winner. All right, I'm in bed and I've got changed into my clean marina. I'll show you though, this is um, the Nemo Fillow Pillow or something. I think it's called the Fillow Pillow. It's got memory foam on the top of it. So it's really like padded and it weighs 250 grams. That's why I don't normally bring it. But I thought this time I'd have a bit of luxury and bring the Fillow Pillow and I've got the um, the big Mac Pack sleeping bag and the Cedar Summit pad. So I'm all pretty cosy in here. This is the um, the inside of the the Nemo Hornet Elite Osmo One P, and I'm pretty big. And there's heaps of room in here. Like there's good width, and I can get up and move around and stuff. So it's pretty awesome. You can see out. Got the fire going still. But I'm just gonna chill, lay in the sleeping bag, listen to some audiobook, listening to Lord of the Rings, great story. I'll just doze off to sleep. But yeah, I'll probably see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Had a pretty good sleep actually. 
inside the big green sleeping bag with the Nemo pillow. It was actually surprisingly comfortable. This might be my new favourite thing. I forgot how nice it was. But I think it's, just check the temperature probe, it's only one and a half degrees. So it is pretty cold. Yeah, I might get a hot chocolate on. No, a Makona. And then probably have to get up and might get the fire going. All right. It's time for the, um, the double Makonas. Fresh stream water. Bush Makona. It's always delicious. Somehow heaps of leaves got onto my Makona. I thought it was clumps that I hadn't stirred properly and I was choking on it. Nothing better than a Makona in the morning. This is some of the, uh, the Colombian that I recently got. I've been drinking heaps of it at home in the espresso machine. It tastes really nice. It's got this real nice, like sweet honeycomb aftertaste and like a nice caramel maltiness. I still reckon AeroPress is probably the best way to brew coffee when you're out in the bush. Just because it's, it's easy to get a really nice, well-balanced cup like plunger, tastes kind of dirty. This goes through the paper filter, so you get real nice filtered clean taste. And you can't really mess it up. You just put it in, press it down. Straight with boiling water, it works fine. So that's my recommendation. Double Maconas in bed, get out of bed, and then have an AeroPress. time to cook up some bacon. What I've got is about 100 grams of streaky bacon in this Ziploc bag. And I'm just going to cook this up in the little frying pan. I'm quite looking forward to this. It's a bit of a new experience for me and everybody loves bacon. It's a bit sticky in there. There we go. That's sizzling up real nicely. The mic, I'll get the mic up to it. I've also got eggs, which I've transported in bubble wrap individually, wrapped them up. Man, it smells nice. The bush is infused with the smell of the streaky bacon. I'll leave a little bit of fat to cook the eggs in. There's the bacon. 
And now I'll get my nice little bubble wrapped eggs. It works really good actually, wrapping them up in this. I'll use my knife. But yeah, so far I'm loving this pan. The pan just makes it real easy to cook, especially because it's such a um, non-stick. And it seems to dissipate heat across the surface of the pan pretty evenly. But these eggs are just sliding around. There's nothing sticking at all. I might flip the eggs. <laughs> but the perfect flip. And I'll cut them in half. This little Cedar Summit spatula works really well too. All right, might get these brioche buns just steaming up a bit. This is my bacon. It might be a little bit crispy. Mm. Nah, that's about perfect. The brioche is perfect because it, it gives a bit of sweetness. Like it's quite sweet and salty. What an experience. Bacon's nice. Definitely gonna be doing this in the middle of winter. Snow falling down, basically need breakfast. What I am gonna do though, is at 5,000 subs, I'm gonna do a huge roast lamb. So, gotta get me to 5,000 subs for roast lamb. So nice. Just made another coffee, I'm gonna sit here, chill out, relax, have this, and then have just a cruisy pack up and head on out. It's been a pretty awesome camp, really like this spot. It was really cool to take out the Nemo Hornet Elite again. And sleeping in the, um, the sleeping bag in the Nemo Hornet seems to be a pretty good combination. So yeah, all in all, great camp. Frying pan was awesome, burgers were awesome, cooking the bacon and eggs in the morning, that was also awesome. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and just pack up, cruise out, and that's that. See you in the next one. Yeah.